Artillery is without a doubt one of the most important and lethal weapons in any land military campaign. Its ability to project fire at medium and long distances in a sustained manner is a real challenge for enemy advances, and although it is one of the oldest branches of all armies, it continues to evolve with technological advancement. A milestone in this technological evolution is the possibility of using increasingly sophisticated guided munitions, and certainly one of the best examples of this is the munition bonus. A bonus is the result of a joint project between Sweden and France for the development of guided anti-tank munitions, and although it is little known to the general public, this weapon, which has already been in active service for more than 20 years, is one of the most fantastic munitions ever from a technological point of view. This 155mm ammunition has a very specific function. Hunting battle tanks and other armored vehicles. Although it looks ordinary from the outside, it internally carries a casing with two submunitions. After being fired and approaching the approximate position of the targets, the ammunition body opens, allowing the two internal submunitions to be released. These submunitions, before launch, receive a series of images of targets that are stored in their memory. At the bottom end is a combination infrared sensor and lidar which, after releasing the submunitions, sweep the area below in search of targets. When they find a target whose image matches the images stored in their memory, small control surfaces direct the submunitions toward it. When they are a few meters high, the lidar sensor, which also functions as an altimeter, triggers the detonation, which releases a shaped charge towards the armored vehicle, hitting it from above and piercing the upper armor, which is generally less resistant. The maximum range of Bofors ammunition bonus is up to 35 kilometers, and each submunition released can attack a different target. That is, a single projectile bonus can destroy up to two tanks. They are programmed to be able to distinguish the thermal signature of vehicles that are on fire from vehicles that are still intact, in order to prevent the second submunition from hitting a vehicle that has already been destroyed by the previous submunition. The operating concept is similar to that of traditional cluster munitions, but with much greater precision and superior armor penetration capacity, as only two large solutions are used instead of several small submunitions, as is the case with common cluster weapons. Bofors ammunition bonus were supplied to Ukraine and are being used in the ongoing conflict. They were attributed with the destruction of several Russian armored vehicles, including a modern T-90M, whose destruction was captured on video, where it is possible to clearly see the submunitions detonating several meters above before the T-90M exploded. The bonus was also used in Iraq, when French forces fired four projectiles and destroyed eight Islamic State vehicles, with each submunition hitting a vehicle and therefore scoring 100% hit. These ammunition are extremely modern and turn the already lethal artillery weapon into a true nightmare for enemy ground forces. It is no surprise that the Ukrainian military has already stated that artillery is killing more Russian armor than anti-tank missiles. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and see you next time.